I just made a video the other day talking about these shading artifacts that appear as a result of shitty topology. And I explained to you why this happens, how you can fix it, or how you can prevent this from happening. And then everybody told me a different way to do this, which turns out to be a million times better. So that's what I'm going to explain to you in this video. I'm going to save you two seconds of your life, okay? In the previous video, I explained to you that the reason you get these fucked up shading problems is because you have an N-gon, which is right next to a bevel. So what happens is you got an N-gon, and then you got an, another face which is connected to that N-gon at an angle. So when you add smooth shading... For whatever reason, this is this causes shading artifacts. Don't ask me why I didn't make the fucking program. I'm just trying to give you some solutions, all right? And the solution to this problem was this, the one that I gave in the previous video. You create your object, which has got your angles. You select all your edges. You bevel them with Control b and then you select all the beveled geometry, not the faces in between. You press I to inset, and then you press O for outset, and that's going to allow you to create this little border between your bevel and the angles. And then when you use smooth shading, it contains the shading and then there's no more artifacts, all right? And then he told me, Aryan, why don't you just use weighted normals? So let me tell you something about weighted normals. Here's another way to fix the same problem. Here's another model, which is the same thing, just without the little inset area, just a bevel with angles. Object shade smooth, add modifier, edit, weighted normals, problem fucking solved. Let me know what you wanna see next, like the damn video.